Hi, Matt O'Connor from the O'Connor Law Firm here in Kansas City, Missouri with an update on the expungement laws. And remember, the choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based on advertising alone. Um, beginning January 1st, 2018, you will be able to expunge, that is, take away any prior convictions if you meet certain qualifications. Now, there, of course, there's exceptions to the rule, um, some violent crimes, intoxicated offenses, um, things like uh, harming uh, police dogs. You need to read the statute very carefully, of course, consult your attorney. But the good news is, if you meet the qualifications that your habits and conduct demonstrate that you're not a threat to public safety and that the expungement is consistent with the public welfare, and the interest of justice warrant the expungement. Then what happens is the burden of proof shifts to the prosecuting attorney, circuit attorney, or municipal prosecuting attorney to rebut the presumption that you should be allowed to have that conviction, arrest, expunged. Now, of course, there's exceptions. There's many um, crimes that are not allowed to be expunged. Obviously, sex crimes, uh, crimes involving intoxication, um, you have to go through the statute carefully to determine whether or not you're uh, able to have your um, arrest or conviction expunged. What is significant is the amount of time that you have to wait. It used to be 20 years for a felony and 10 years for a misdemeanor. Now it is 7 years for a felony and 3 years for a misdemeanor, whether that's a conviction or arrest. That's a significant change. What it does is it opens the door for people who have been lawful, um, and abiding and good citizens for several years to expunge uh, convictions or arrests for things like marijuana or other nonviolent crimes, non-sexual crimes. Um, and they can do so by following the strictures of the um, statute that was enacted by the governor this last year and goes into effect January 1st, 2018. Let's go through with you what you're gonna need to have a successful petition for expungement in Missouri January 1st. 2018 when this new law goes into effect. You're going to need to know the name of the agency that arrested you for the offense, the case number, and the name of the court for each offense. Um, you're going to have to get your fingerprint cards and standard fingerprint card at the time of filing of the expungement. So you have to attach that with the expungement. Once that happens, the clerk of the court will give notice um, of the petition to the prosecuting attorney, circuit attorney, or municipal prosecuting attorney that prosecuted the particular offense, as they have to uh, file their objection within 30 days of receipt of the petition, and the court may hold a hearing within 60 days of the petition being filed. And here's what they're going to do at the hearing. They're going to hear evidence on several factors to determine whether or not you're eligible. For example, they're going to find out um, if it's a felony that you're trying to have expunged, whether it's an arrest or conviction, that it's been more than seven years. If it's a misdemeanor, they're going to determine if it's been more than three years since your conviction or arrest. Obviously, if you have any current pending charges, the court's not going to favorable on that, and that's one of the factors that would probably lead to it not being granted. Um, they'll also look at whether you satisfied all of your obligations under uh, the prior offense. For example, if you put on probation, whether you paid all your fines, whether you completed the probation, community service, and all that kind of stuff. Um, they will also look at, very important, um, your behavior um, since the conviction or arrest, and whether your habits demonstrate that you are not a threat to public safety or to the welfare of the state and most importantly that your expungement is consistent with the welfare um, of the state and the interests of justice warrant expungement. So, if you've been a good person, led a good life after making a mistake, um, your criminal history is looking spotless afterwards, you have a pretty good chance of never again. So he's in the law, but at least to the discretion of the court, as is delaying the stat statute, would indicate that you probably have a fairly good shot at, at obtaining the expungement. So if at the end of the hearing, the court determines that you meet the requirements of the statute and that your conviction or arrest should be expunged, the court will issue an order that will be sent to all of the appropriate agencies so that your prior arrest or your prior conviction is expunged. So. Going into effect January 1st, 2018, um, expungement law changes, a lot, of, a lot of new cases, a lot of new 
uh, crimes that previously couldn't have been expunged um, may now be expunged. Uh, the time limit, very significant, used to be 10 years, like I said, uh, for a misdemeanor and 20 years for a felony. Now it's three years for a misdemeanor and seven years for a felony. So things like marijuana convictions can be um, expunged and taken off your record um, to clean up your record. But again, make sure you meet the requirements and consult with your local attorney, of course, um, before making any decisions in that regard. This is not intended for legal advice, just for public information. And I hope it's been helpful. This is Matt O'Connor for the O'Connor Law Firm, giving you an update on the Missouri expungement laws going into effect January 1st, 2018.